Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The X-Files, Season 1, Episode 23. The penultimate episode. <gasps> Only this one. Next one's the finale. <sighs> I'm very excited to see how this season's gonna end. Are they gonna shut down The X-Files? What's gonna happen with Mulder and Scully? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but we're about to see. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. And before we get into this though, seconds before, one last thing. Go to Patreon. Check it out. Link down below in the description. Go to patreon.com slash small screen reactions. There, you can watch the finale of season one of The X-Files right now, including the season two premiere and a couple episodes into season two. By the time this airs on YouTube, will be multiple episodes into season two already. So go check that out. And you can also join the $10 tier or above and get the exclusive access to Patreon exclusive shows. Shows that are only on Patreon, not being edited and put on YouTube at all, only on Patreon. Those include, some of which are uh, Attack on Titan, Broadchurch, Battlestar Galactica. I just watched another episode today. Mm. And then, um, I think Chuck, and there's a couple others. Yeah, but multiple shows only on Patreon. Go check it out. Thank you so much for the support and everything for you guys here on YouTube, on Patreon. Love you all. Um, I really hope you enjoy this. And without further ado, let's get right into this. Here we go. Okay, we in Washington. Who's this guy? Is he actually a janitor? It doesn't seem like it. Here, let me do it. Put your number in, then your card. What's your number? Don't be rude about it. You know how easy it is? Rude. Ninety-four percent. We need more. How's the back pressure holding? That's space shuttles. It's the bladed planes. planes. This is a plot. I'm just protecting the baby. And four years of work, Frank. Four years of work that's going to add up to zilch. Because unless we show these old white men are really stressed out. The plug on Osran. Osran? What's that? He's right, you know. You should have continued with the test. Somebody's going to crack Mac 15, and I want that someone. To oh, so they're going for like Mac 15, like. The next they level of speed. You two guys can't wait to see a name in print. It's the print that gets the money, Ron. Damn. If you want to go down in flames together, fine. You go ahead. I'm going to do the math. Yeah, do the math. Do not stop the kid. Is this guy like a secret genius who's going to solve it? When he walks away. Yeah, he's going to solve it there. Oh, is he gonna turn it on? He's gonna get stuck in there and die. Oh, he about to kill him. This guy, he's acting like a way that everyone's not suspicious of him, but then he does this shit. Open the door. Oh, uh, he, he seems to know exactly what he's doing for someone who can't get his coat in. Oh, it's this actor. We have to open this door. I recognize him. We haven't got a full face to light there. I think I recognize him. You better grab something to hold on to, man. Grab something to hold on to. Grab the fence. Go and grab the fence quickly. Don't walk up to the blade. Are you psycho? Open the door. You know we should figure out what's going on right now and go grab that fence. Your fingers may slice off, but maybe just in time for someone to come and save? Whoa. I don't know if that's the actor that I'm thinking of. The guy from Madam Secretary? Ah. Now you grab the fence. A little late. Oh yeah. I don't think it's gonna help anyway, to be honest. He's actually very smart. Who's this man? I see. Oh, 
serial killer, savant. He's holding on quite well, I gotta say. Never mind, I just jinxed it. There's all the blood though. Can we see some blood spatter? He's doing his job well though. He went right back to cleaning after murdering that guy. I mean the part where the groom passed out or the dog bit the drummer. Mm -hmm. Did you catch the bouquet? Maybe. Oh. So is that what you... The project that everyone says doesn't exist, does exist. Oh, what project? Icarus project? Icarus. Next generation jet engine design, capable okay. of doubling current supersonic speeds using half the fuel. Wow. At least in theory. There's something unexplainable here, Scully, but it's certainly not unidentifiable. Then what is it? It's just a guy who murdered him. What's so unexplainable about that? We've already been through this with the police. How many times do we have to rehash it? Just calm down. Your team died a short time ago, isn't that correct? Yes. Oh, this is the second three. death. I'm Frank Vallette. I'm also on the project. Are you certain it was an accident? What are you driving at? What do you think, genius? Someone who's so smart. Ron was working on it when I left. You see, the handwriting here yeah. doesn't seem to match any of the other hands. It isn't mine. What about Roland Fuller? Mm -hmm. Uh, Roland. Well, according to the police report, he was the only other person here last night. Roland didn't do that. Mm, wrong again, dumbass. Let's just say Roland isn't exactly a rocket scientist. Boy, he's uh, underestimating him. That is the guy from Madam Secretary. It definitely is. Or maybe this is just how he wants people to think he is. Or maybe he has a dual personality or an alien inside of him. Tracy. With stars. Nope. What must are these like numbers? Stars. Sorry? Uh. Oh, on, oh, wow. He's definitely smarter than you like he numbers walks. too, huh? Oh. Oh, he's, is he picturing what he's going to do? So the one that's not dead yet? Four, five, six, Roland, uh, is everything okay? Yeah, one of those scribblings. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. What happened? Fourteen. What did you say to upset him so? Calm down, lady. Sixteen. They were just asking him questions, and he snapped and had visions of killing someone. Keats and Dr. Nolette's cursive standards don't match what you found on the whiteboard. Will you do me a favor and try this? What is it? His handwriting. You don't really think that Roland... Besides Nolette and Keats, mm. he's the only person we can yeah. in the lab that night. Yes, but we're talking about a sophisticated but... fluid dynamic. Roland Fuller barely has an IQ of 70. Well, you saw his facility with mathematics. Don't yeah. some autistic individuals display... Yes, autism? they do, exactly. They can perform certain functions, but they can't tell you the value of anything or even the meaning of a number. So I he may have just solved it. Guys, but the bottom line is no. The terminal stroke on the six, the root oh, on the okay. Five, is it some sorry. other personality? Is it like an evil side of him? He wants the kid. Is he, he's not seeing the future. Is he seeing what the other, the other personality, the other him wants to do? Is planning. Or can he see the future? You got in quite easily this time. Why is he killing them though? That's what I don't know. Oh, liquid nitrogen. Oh God, no. Oh God. Oh, that's a bad way to go. Oh, 
Oh my god, he's shadow. Oh, he's stepping right. Wow. Won't they be able to tell it was him that went into it because of his code going in? Now, I've seen this demonstrated on a fish before. I don't think they'll be performing <laughs> this experiment on Beekman's world. No. This file was turned off at 1231 last night. But look, someone else entered a file under Arthur. the name Arthur after 1231. Arthur's not a personality. Oh, he's doing all the work. Body, he was dead around 1230. So you're saying that someone came in here, killed Keith, and then, and then just kept did some work doing his on work. Dr. Arthur Grable file? Okay, Arthur. I can't access the Arthur file. We're going to need the password. Try 15626. Oh, the number's on the paper. There you go. Hmm. How did you know this? Very interesting. Oh, twin? The long lost twin? Uh, somehow split personality, become the other sibling? Is he his own twin? I'm not supposed to talk. Who said, yeah, that. author. Day before. Dr. Gravel died. Is that what triggered this personality? To go away. And they're not supposed to come back. Damn. Not supposed to. Has Roland ever mentioned the name Arthur? That was Dr. Gravel's first name. No. But we only called him Dr. Gravel. I doubt Roland even knew his first name was Arthur. Mrs. Stody, can I what get does a she copy know? of Roland's file? Roland Fuller was hired by Arthur Grable. He went to the halfway house specifically to find a mentally challenged person. Yeah, why was Are you that? Suggesting that Arthur Is, Grable... Was Arthur his brother? Then are you suggesting that Arthur Grable is not dead? Wow. Uh, well, if he had intentions... Did he do experiments on Roland? ...to appear the least likely suspect. Yeah, mm. but by the look of this, he's hamburger. Oh, but where's, Maybe he was there a body? Him. DNA? That explain why he's continuing on six months after his death. This obituary... Well, Roland's just continuing his work. In Seattle. His father was a big banker. His mother Does was active in another... Does he blame the other scientists? Did they do something to Arthur? Brilliant future, tragically cut short. Roland's also from Seattle. Oh. There's very little information on Roland before the age of three. That's when he was put in the heritage program. Does it say when he was born? Roland and Arthur are brothers, aren't they? July 15, 1952. So Arthur gave his brother a job. That's also his Arthur's brother gets birthday. killed, and now he's avenging him and finishing his work. I lived in a house. Do you have dreams, Roland? He has dreams of killing people. Roland? Who's Arthur? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. He about to kill him. He's stopping himself, though. He's trying to stop himself. It is like another personality, I mean, taking over his body. You can see the other person's thoughts, and he's trying to stop himself this time because he cares about her. Fascinating. We are the people that work at this place to help them out. Damn, the acting now. <laughs> Afternoon. Uh, we decided to take his car apart and put it back together again in his office and left it running. Oh. Hmm. An egghead killed Arthur Grable is woefully incomplete. It's a dry road surface, no mechanical problems found. The body was never admitted to a county morgue mm. and there was no... A lot of little holes in there. Killed somehow in Keats and is after me next. You're way off. Ugh, he's looking so Arthur good right now. Murdered. In the lighting, it's looking so for him. Gotta say it once an episode, but damn. 
This is Arthur Grable. Uh, because of the massive internal damage to his body caused by the car accident, he could only preserve the head. Oh. Would he thaw it out in the future only to discover he had no functional mobility? We believe that by the time science figures a way to... It's going to be like Futurama. The passing of each second brings our bodies closer to death. For our clients, it brings them closer to life. Oh, uh, uh, what was that? These temperature, did they happen off? No, we had some problems with Dr. Grable's capsule and the technicians objected for possible malfunction. That's weird. Found nothing. Is it possible the brain is causing the fluctuation? Is he psychically linked no. but to we are Roland? For the explanation. Because twins? No danger. He remains perfectly preserved as long as there's liquid nitrogen in the capsule. Liquid nitrogen. And what requirements will exist to be an organ or tissue donor? Same requirements as there are today. Compatible genetic makeup. It's A.K.A. Best if the donors related. twin brother. Roland Fuller and Arthur Grable have the same birthday. I think they're he, twins. Yeah. Dull. Oh, yeah. Younger. Close cropped hair. And a slightly receding rose beak. Yep, it's definitely him. He upset me. He was asking me questions I didn't want to answer. You had a sister? Not you. You're a good person. Eh, he's killed a few people, so I don't know about that. I see the way you work that toy. Just like what's happening to you. Someone controlling you. <clears throat> Who runs the control? Arthur? Somehow? Have you seen this man recently? Uh oh, being triggered. Where do they separate them? We need to arrange to keep Roland under observation. Oh god. What is he about to do? Oh, break that and run. On the roof. He's gone. Alder, no one's going to provide you with anything once you explain your theory on how Roland Fuller is capable of these murders. You could say it's a split personality. Yeah, I've got an older one and a younger one. Well, have you ever thought about calling one of them all day long and then all of a sudden the phone rings and it's one of them calling you? Oh, okay. Does pitch somehow end with a wave? I've had that happen before, not with my sister, though. Ties to a frozen fudgesicle than he does to his own brother. Damn. Arthur Grable is not dead. He's in a state of consciousness that no human has ever returned from. True, so what does that do? To develop psychic ability to a potential that the conscious mind is too preoccupied to explore or believe His brother's it. mind, not much going on there. He jumps in when he can and Kill uses it. scientists. But why? He's been working with these colleagues for years. Except they must have killed him. Okay. Let's go. I have to call my brother. This we one's kind of similar to the last episode in a way. People betray each other, killing one, and then the, other, the dead one's coming back to kill them all, get revenge. Oh, he's gonna go destroy his head, really? I'm sure you'll appreciate this. Oh, he's opening it up to see. I have a feeling Arthur slash Roland is here right now, waiting. Try to kill him. But what if the thaw in him is just gonna make it stronger? I don't know what it's gonna do. The psychic link thing. What is he up to? Fisting those pens and doing math. The result of a damaged chromosome rejected by one of Arthur's cells? In a way, that would explain Arthur's genius and Roland's strange mathematical gift. Okay. In a way. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Drowling can save him. Oh, has he's figured out the mock speed formula? He's trying to solve it before he dies. His brain dies. Ah, uh, did it. He completed his life's work. It's only gone faster now, too. Well, this isn't yours. Oh, he's gonna try to take the work credit for Amazing. it. There's this body sitting there in front of me talking. Wow, weird. But you're controlling. <laughs> what good was your work going to do you? You die before you could finish it. So you just stole his work? Ironic, isn't it? You did all the work, and I get all the glory. It's not ironic, it's awful. Devious. <laughs> I got it. You got it. Kill him. I don't care. Yeah. Perfectly fair. Oh, we, oh, we about to kill him like this again. Mm, you kind of just said this, dude. I don't feel so bad for this man. Try to remember how. Did they just get separated because he wasn't as bright? He was a little abnormal, so they sent him away and they never had to see his brother again. Come on, Roland. I can't remember. Ooh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. That was close. Ooh, he did. You'd be remanded to your custody as soon as the court deems it appropriate. How could this happen? Roland never exhibited any violent tendencies. It wasn't Roland. We're not sure, Mrs. Doty. All we know is that Roland was somehow able to finish his brother's research. He was psychically linked to his twin brother who was dying and finishing his work and getting revenge. Keep my stuff. Aww. I love you. Aww. I ship them. Change of music, change of this, what's going what? Why was it so ominous there at the end? Just seeing himself in the mirror. Okay. I gotta say, I really like this episode, but it was very much the same basis as the last episode, but just switched up a bit. Like, last episode, it was a cop who was betrayed by his, uh, colleagues and he was going to tell on them and they killed him and then he possessed this little girl's body to get revenge this one was a scientist who died and his colleagues were going to use his work as their own and he came back in his twin he psychically connected to his twin brother's body to his twin brother while he was his head was on ice and use his brother to get revenge and to finish his work. So it's slightly the same, slightly different. Both very different in the way they are, were executed and the, with like the kid and Roland and everything, very different. I think I like this one slightly more. The creepy kid was one angle with cops and everything, but this, and it was a little more like uh, haunting and stuff and ghost and killing. This one was a lot more, a little more heartfelt and a little more like kind of sad. But also, like, uh, Roland, I love him. I felt bad for him. And there's, like, this place of, like, eh. 
bad things were happening. I kind of feel bad, but I also don't because it's like they deserved it. But also like they didn't kill him. They were just taking a swift when he's dead. I'm like, uh, did they deserve to die? And you made you jumped into it's similar how where like the cop jumped into the little girl's body and made her kill people. She has blood on her hands now. Roland literally has blood on his hands now because of his brother. Like you made your brother kill someone. And he might actually like go to jail or something for it. We don't know. Kinda sucks. We'll see. Um, maybe we'll see them again. Um, very good though. Very fun. I'm excited to see what they're going to do in the finale. I'll probably watch that tomorrow or the day after because I really want to. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching with me so, so much. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Patreon again. Link down below in the description. Go to patreon.com slash smallscreenreactions. And other than that, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.